Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today we are going to talk about brand boards. Inside brand boards you can set different logos, different brand colors and even different fonts. You can even create multiple different brand boards and pull this data such as fonts, colors and even logos into different places inside the CRM such as websites, funnels or even inside the email template builder. So now you can keep your brand identity strong and uniform and no more searching for hex color codes or fonts. Let me show you how you can set this up. So there's two places where you can access the brand boards. Number one is from marketing on the left and then you can see brand boards at the top or you click on settings at the bottom left and then you scroll all the way down just below ordered logs to brand boards. If you click on brand boards here it will just forward you to the same area on the marketing brand boards. So let's click on brand boards and you can see we're going to land in the same space marketing and brand boards all right so let's create our first brand board click the plus new button and right here you can either start one from blank a brand board from blank or you can select a pre-made one let's select start from blank hit continue at the top you can rename the brand board maybe to your company name and in the middle right here you can see you can add logos even a little icon then the brand colors which one is the primary secondary which one is the accent color as well as the typography which is the font so let's get started here on the left let's click on add logo Logo, click on that little pencil icon and then you will end up in your media library so if you don't have your logos uploaded just yet you can just click the upload file button in the top right corner and then upload your material like that let's click upload file and here we can select the logo for example then we can select the second logo which would just be the icon for example so let's select this one you can see the difference here so for some places inside of our websites or funnels it's more efficient space wise to just select this little icon instead of the whole logo without the font and all that right then at the top you can go to the next tab which is colors then one last time we're going to go to our notepad and select one last time our hex codes because after that they will be stored in this board okay just click on the color right here if you want to change the color add your hex code here and you can see the color has changed so let's rename it to pink let's add another one click on the color let's add the hex code great let's rename it to yellow and the last one blue click add click on the color add the hex code great and rename it awesome now we have added our brand color so you can add up to 10 different colors here and at least two colors are required. Next up is the typography. Let's click on that. And here you can add different fonts. If you click the drop down menu here, you can see different suggestions and you can select from here. Let's select this one. Let's click add another one and let's select that one. I like that one. Let's change it to this one. Yep, that looks good to me. Now we can hit save board in the top right corner. Now we can click back on the back button top left. And here you can see all of the different boards. You can see this one has been set to default. So if you have several different boards, you can can set one board to the default board which means the brand colors will always be on top of the color picker for example inside funnels and websites let's create a different one let me really quick create a second one so you can see what i mean so like this one hit continue that looks good to me so we go back now you can see that the first one we've created is the default one. If we wanted to change the second one to default, we just click the three dots right here and select set as default. That's it, right? So the default button has changed to the coffee board. Let's switch it back, click the three dots, click set as default, and our first one is back selected as default. If you wanted to clone the board, you can just click the three dots as well and then click on clone. If you wanted to edit the board, simply click on edit board. Let's click on edit board real quick. And right here, there's another option top right hand side. If this wouldn't be set to the default, yet you could select it right here as well instead of clicking the three dots let's go back top left in case you're wondering where you can find the logos you would just go to media storage on the left and then you will see the brand boards folder has been created automatically if you click on that you can see those two brand boards right here one is your company's brand board and the other one is the coffee one right click on the coffee one and you can see the logos have been pulled into that folder now let's go back to the boards click on marketing on the left brand boards at the top now let me show you real quick where you can access those brand boards inside of funnels and websites. Click on sites on the left, then click on either funnels or websites at the top. Then let's click on the demo online store, for example, click edit in a new tab. And let's say we would want to edit the headline. So click inside of cool electronics. Then you see the color options on the right hand side. Click on color. So click on the black color, for example, and you see the brand colors showing up on top. Okay. Down below, you can see the default colors, but first we see the brand colors because that's what we set to default. Down here at the default colors drop down, you can click click that and you can switch to custom colors as well and here you can add different custom colors in addition to the brand colors so just click the add button here and you can play around with the hex number here so let's say we're just gonna select orange for example and we're just gonna click add on the bottom right so now you can see the custom color orange is showing up right here if you wanted to switch back to default colors you just click default colors and it shows you the default colors if you want to switch back to custom colors you can see the orange color which
which we just said. If you wanted to grab a color from any image, but you're not sure about the hex code, let's say, for example, we wanted to grab this turquoise here from this music box. We just click add. Then you see this little pencil icon and you hover over the color you want to pull the hex code from. Click on it and the system shows you here in the color palette and it will show you the hex code of that particular color. Hit add and you see this color has been added to your custom colors. This makes it really easy for you to design websites and funnels, for example, because if you can just pull the color like that, it saves you a lot of time and it looks a lot better as well because you are showing the brand consistency. Now let me show you how you can use the brand board inside of emails. Let's go back, click on marketing on the left, go to emails at the top, either campaigns or templates, up to you. Let's click campaigns, then either create a new one, click the plus new button on the right or click on the existing one. We're going to click on the existing one right here. Then let's edit this text, for example, and let's highlight it. Let's click on the color right here and you can see the brand colors showing up right here. And again, you can add more default colors if you wish so. Simply click the add button, either add your hex code if you have it or slide around with this little slider here. Select the color like that, or you click the pencil icon. Let's say we wanted to take this blue, hover over the blue, click on it, and it will show you the hex code of that blue. Let's click add, and you can see the default color has been added, including the hex code. So now let's talk about the font. Similar with the font, click on the text, click on the drop down menu of the fonts, the top, and you can see the two brand fonts under brand fonts will show up at the top, making it really easy for you to just select those and stay consistent with your brand. Let's say you wanted to add the logo to the top of your email, just drag and drop the logo icon from the left over into the middle and you can see the logo pulls automatically. If you wanted to change it, remember we have added two different ones. Just click on the pencil icon. You can either generate one using AI, but for now we want to pull it from the media library. So upload from media library and it will show us all of the logos which we've updated into all of our brand boards. So the last two ones are from the second board and the first two logos are from the first board. So let's double click on that and it pulls the logo inside the email builder. You want to make sure also though that this is the right size so you can change change the width here. Let's make that 150 actually. That looks a bit better. Great. And this is it already. This is how you create and edit different brand boards and how you utilize them in sites, funnels, and also in the email template builder. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.